Hello everyone and welcome to yet another more advanced tutorial on how to make materials in Blender. This time we're going to be making this one. I really hope you like it, let's get started. So if you don't want to model UV and wrap, make lighting environment and everything else, you can download this scene in the description below. This is not necessary, so you can skip the step. Alright, now split screen into half, make this camera view, shift Z to see render preview. Now this one will use it as a node editor, so shift F3 and to close the side panel. And the first thing that we're going to be doing here is making a group that consists of diffuse shader, mix shader and a gloss shader. Connect them up and let's group them. So box select, control group, all right, control G, group. All right, now connect the color to input, uh, the normal to a single input of both of them, and factor. Now let's change names, open up the end panel. The first one will be diffuse color, the second one will be glossy color, and third and fourth is our right, but the last thing we need to do here is connect our shader output to group output, alright? Name this group whatever you like, for example, uh, diffuse slash glossy group, Alright, uh, you can access groups with shift A group, G group, uh, and set group whatever you like. So this one should be, oh yeah, diffuse loss group right here. Alright, uh, but let's just duplicate this one for a couple of times on Y axis just to make it tidier. <sighs> Alright, so. For the first one, connect them up to see how it looks like. Uh, we're going to be setting colors. So the first color, the fuse color, is going to be a dark shade of brown. And the second one is something between yellow and orange, just right in the middle of it. Alright? Now, this is super flat, it's really bad. So, let's add a generated texture, so uh, this time we're going to be using a noise one, TN, noise texture. Now, to see how our textures look like, let's just add a diffuse uh, shader plugged into our surface, just to test our textures, alright? So this is how it looks like at the moment, and I don't like the way it looks like, so let's adjust the values. Uh, let's increase the scale value to decrease the size, alright? So the higher this gets, the lower, <laughs> well, I mean the smaller the balls get. Now add a color brightness and contrast node. Contrast this up a little bit, so 1 is too low, 3 is too high. Uh, 2 is just right, alright? And let's connect it to our first glossy slash diffuse shader factor, alright? <laughs> factor of the, of the shader, alright? Anyway, so yeah, this is how it looks like at the moment. Um, <laughs> I have no sense what I'm doing here, so I'm going to call it a plastic metal, right? Or the f first diffuse glossy group. <laughs> Easier. Anyway. Oh, it's so awkward. So, uh, we're going to <laughs> customize the second one, right? Uh, we need a few textures for it. So, first texture that you can load in the description is going to be the wallpaper one texture, right? Now, 
we're going to be using this as a bump map in the first place. Move this a little further. Uh, add a vector <laughs> vector bump map. Vector bump. Connect the color to the height. And let's see how it looks like. Let's connect it to the first one. Alright, so I think it's a little too small. Well, if you like it like this, you can leave it. But I'm going to increase it to 0.5. Alright. I think this looks good. Yeah. Yeah, that looks good for me. Looks good for me. Maybe not to you. Everyone has a taste. Anyway, now uh, what we're going to be doing with the second one is we're going to be using a different texture for it. So duplicate the image texture node. Open up a small key one that you can also load in the description below. All right. Now let's see how our second one looks uh, like in the first place connect this to the surface all right now our new image texture to glossy both glossy and uh, diffuse right so it's smooth marble um, I like it I like the way it looks like so what I want to do with it is just like make it a Mm, lower part of this one so it's like some places are colored with this but some places are somewhat blank marble like this one right so we're going to mix them together shift a HM make shader node connect the first one and the second one so <laughs> Our plastic metal plus the marble and we're going to be using our wallpaper texture as a factor for that to tell him where it should be plastic and where it should be marble all right looks fine for me uh, but I think it's a little too smooth so what I like to do is connect the normal to the second or the marble node. All right, looks fine. It it looks older. I like the way it looks like this way. All right. If you don't like it, you can just deplug it. Whatever. You can customize the material afterwards, just the way I like. All right. Now, what I would like to do to enhance it is just to move the color to the side just for a little bit and in order to do that we're going to need to duplicate our wallpaper node all right so use this as an input for a mix between our plastic and our <coughs> marble texture right now if we need if we want to change this we're going to need a vector mapping node which lets our change the uh, lets us lets us change the location of mapping now as you can see this doesn't work so in order to make it work as you already know we need input texture coordinate uv we're going to be using uv because it's already unwrapped and just easier anyway so you can use the location to move it this is way too much we're going to using we're going to be using a really really small value of 0 0.002 copy this paste it to y and as you can see now uh, we have a little shine or highlight in the side of it and then colored in the other side and maybe even darker shadow on the other side because it's colored where it wasn't right and I think this makes it pop out even more it's kind of fake you know <laughs> but it looks cool it looks better so I'm going to be using it this way right now 
our third one. Uh, as for this one, uh, it's going to be stripes or brushes, uh, whatever you want to call it, all along the white air white areas right here. And just to add a little bit more detail and make it look like it was um, a holder or somewhat less perp less perfect, you know. So let's change the color values. So as for the fuse one, uh, let's make it somewhat gray and copy the glossy one from our plastic metal to this one and go to hue saturation value and decrease the saturation and decrease the value to make it darker, right? Now this looks older and worse, but that's the way I like it. things looking old and worse. <laughs> no, I mean just <clears throat> computer graphics easier to make perfect, harder to make old, <laughs> scratched. Anyway. For this one, <laughs> we're going to be using another noise texture, so you can duplicate this one, the one we used before, for our first group, and plug it to our factor, right? Now, come on, I can never plug things, <laughs> alright? Now, uh, I think this is a little too small, so we need to make the value smaller to make them bigger. And I found that 5 looks fine. Uh, also, it's a little blank, so I need to, I, I'd like to increase the value. Alright, so now it's way different and way not that monotonic as it was and let's add some distortion so tool for distortion and it makes them um, a little more random you know which I like the way it looks like so I'm going to be using this one now we will need to blend our marble with this together and that we're we're going that's where we're going to make our stripes from this so add a mix shader node mix our diffuse glossy the second one with the third one and for the factor we're going to be using yet another <laughs> uh, generated texture so shift a uh, texture varnoy TV <laughs> just like TV all right and all right uh, let's see how this looks like with our testing node all right connect surface disconnect that and just connect with our foreign texture all right now I think that the cells should be uh, way smaller so let's increase the scale to 180 and what I did to make uh, strips out of these cells is change the mapping so copy the mapping plug the UV for it to, in order to for it to to work right and use this as a vector now we are going to be stretching it like crazy so I found that X as 10 works fine and Y as 0.2 and now we have some not really monotonic but noisy stripes all over it right that's good but we need to contrast them as always just uh, duplicate our brightness and contrast node from the other one but <laughs> this looks really wrong so we need to lower the contrast uh, maybe a value of 2 works fine because this is not going to be color uh, 
it's going to be a factor. So let's see how our how our marble plus stripes uh, stripe shader will look like and connect our Voronoi brightness and contrast to the factor of them and this is what we get a little straps all over it right and in order to add color back we're going to need to mix the two mixes <laughs> together shift a hm all right you can add it through the wire and the shader to the upper one and that snaps back and here's the factor just the same one our um <sighs> our wallpaper texture yep so a little scratches color marble i think this really good <laughs> uh, I mean like I like the way it looks it's not technically done in super correct way but you know when you're an artist if it looks good it's good <laughs> nobody looks at technique well companies whatever so this is it uh, this is the material I wanted to show you how to make and uh, you can customize it, uh, make it uh, look better or worse, <laughs> just the way you, you can. <laughs> and well, worse is good because you practice. And I hope to see you in our in my our <laughs> in my new tutorials that are upcoming someday after many years. I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you next time.